Now, as promised, the Miss Non-Governmental Organization NGO is an initiative that Inter Alia promotes beauty with a purpose and empowers young women to take up space in their respective communities. This year's Miss NGO will take place on the 30th of August, 2024, here in the Namibian capital. Joining us this morning in studio are two of the contestants, Madame Romancia Sebes and Madame Quintina Shidumawe, to tell us more. Good morning, ladies, and welcome to Good Morning Namibia. Good, Good morning, morning, Denver. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? Nervous. <laughs> oh, are you nervous too? Just a little bit. A tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. Romancia, please tell us more about that beautiful dress that you are wearing. Well, this is a dress designed by the one and only Myla Kalibi. Mm, yes. It's absolutely precious. Yes. So it's meant to represent um, multiple cultures. Yes. Representative of the demographics of the land of the brave. Yes. It's not necessarily too winter friendly, is it? No, not exactly. But it is pretty. It is absolutely pretty. Absolutely pretty. Uh, talk to us, Quintina, about what inspired you, what motivated you to participate in Miss NGO. I am a pageant queen. It's what I'm passionate about, pageantry and all of that. So when I came to the time to choose the pageant that I wanted to choose, I wanted to choose one that resonates with me. And that was Miss NGO Namibia. With the whole goal with it being beauty with a purpose or something that I wanted to be a part of. Mm. Romancia, what stood out for me in the introduction was that it empowers women to take up space in their communities. What motivated you to participate? Well, I decided to join Ms. NGO Namibia because I love what they stand for, which is beauty with purpose, beauty with intent, and beauty with impact. Mm -hmm. They are proactively and investedly involved in impacting the communities positively, and that is what sets them apart. From where you sit, what would be an example of impacting our community positively, constructively? Well, for starters, and it would be aligned with my advocacy, would be um, to create awareness around um, important things that impact society, for example, neurodiversity and creating safe spaces for impacted and affected individuals. Mm. Quintina, from your perspective, what is it that you'd like to do to make that positive impact in our society? What projects would you like to spearhead? The type of project that I'd like to spearhead is one that will only inspire the youth in many ways. And that is with my advocacy and my initiative, which is mental health, and trying to break the stigma revolving and surrounding mental health. Mm. It's the topic of the day, mental health, and the stigma is part of it, and we can only accomplish results if we dismantle that stigma. But how do we actually do it? I think by talking more about it, more openly, and in a sense that it's not something bad or something to be ashamed of, but something to, in some way, embrace and be able to talk about it openly. Mm. Romancia, do you have any specific role models, someone you look up to? Well, I couldn't single-handedly point one person out, but rather two, mm. which is my mother, Biola, and my sister, Star. They are my beacons of love, hope, strength, and power. And they are there for me through every step of any journey. And I love and appreciate them so much for it. Mm. Perhaps something that you would like to share with us in that regard about someone inspiring you? Um, two people that inspire me the most, which are the most important people in my life, which are my parents. They both inspire me to chase my dreams and to grow without any barriers. Shoo, sure. to grow limitlessly. Yes. Yeah. And, and have you been doing exactly that? Yes, I've been doing exactly that. I've been taking account everything that I've been taught up to now during my childhood, the life lessons that we've been taught, and I try to implement that in my daily life. Now, limitless growth is not a walk in the park. It's quite a daunting journey. Please talk to us about some of the challenges that you encountered on your journey. I think one of the challenges that I'd say I've counted on my journey is public speaking. And with the Miss NGO Namibia organization, they took us on a five-day training. We were able to learn about the social issues involving our youth. And through that, one of our segments was public speaking. And with that, it helped me overcome by being able to take constructive criticism and being able to command a room. 
And you're doing exactly that. Yeah. You speak so well. Thank you. Romansha, the journey must have contributed thus far to some personal growth and development. In your instance, what has that been? Oh, anyone who knows me knows that I'm big on personal development and self-growth. <laughs> Self-development and personal growth. Um, what Ms. NGO has helped me with is to challenge my beliefs around fears and inhibitions. It has helped me to get over myself and get over all those fears and personal obstacles that I have and to see myself um, as an integral part of the bigger picture and part of something that is much, much bigger than myself. And a part that matters. Me. You matter and your part matters. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. exactly. Continue, any final thoughts this morning? Um, I'm grateful to be here. I'm grateful for the Miss Angel organization for always promoting us to do better and to chase our dreams and our initiatives and our advocacy. Great. Your final thoughts, please. I am incredibly grateful for this journey with Ms. NGO Namibia and thank you for having us. I'm very great. Um, I look forward to, to more. Yes, to more of this, yeah. but also, um, also being a part of um, improving our society and through community service and empowerment. Thank you for your time. Good luck with the rest of the preparation as it culminates on the 30th of August, 2024 and you already are winners. Thank you. Thank you, Denver.